What's up, squad? I've got a Burger King bag in front of me. Now, why have I done this? I hate Burger King. I think Burger King is one of the worst fast food restaurants on the planet. Their food has no flavor. Their fries suck. The other sides that I've tried from there, I have not really liked. I don't think it's very good value. But the one thing Burger King does have going for them is they have the Impossible Whopper, which is a very good um, meat substitute product. It's a good vegan product um, in the fast food marketplace. And since it is vegan week, or it was last year when I'd recorded all of the vegan week videos uh, and then never posted them because the initial Impossible Whopper review I did had bad audio quality. Um, for whatever reason, I have no idea why it happened. It was a weird glitch. What's up, y'all? I'm currently sitting in a Burger King parking lot. Now, Burger King is a restaurant that I despise. I really don't like it. I think it might be one of the worst fast food restaurants in existence. Um, I really just am never, ever in the mood to eat anything from here. Um, I, I never ended up doing Vegan Week because I just never got around to remaking that video because I never want to eat Burger King. Um, but I didn't want to just straight up do a review of the Impossible Whopper again like I was having it for the first time. Um, so today I figured I would do something a little bit different and I would compare the regular meat Whopper with the Impossible Whopper. So I have one of each here and I'm going to compare them. I'm going to see which one's better. Um, just straight up. Yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm going to go with the regular beef Whopper, plain broiled. Okay, I get the flame broiled flavor on the meat. It does, you know, have that little char flavor going on. My beef with Burger King is that this is their signature sandwich and there's no like signature sauce. Yeah, there's the regular toppings like ketchup, mustard, tomato, pickles, maybe onions as well. Uh, but it, it all just kind of has one note. There's got to be some sort of special sauce to take it over the edge. Like the Big Mac. McDonald's has a Big Mac. It's a similarly disgusting big sandwich, but it has Mac sauce. Mac sauce is fantastic. It's just kind of like just a one-note sandwich for me. Let's get into this impossible Whopper. They look very similar. Um, the Impossible Whopper, if you can tell, is a little bit darker on the outside. I don't know if that's getting more char or just because of what it's made out of. All right, here's both sandwiches with two bites out of them. Look pretty similar. The Impossible one is maybe just a little bit more compact. I don't know, if it, it, they're basically like the same sandwich. It's just one has no meat and one has meat. And the crazy thing is, I actually think that the Impossible Whopper is better. It has more flavor, like the, the patty you know, however they make it, I, I could have done some research to figure out what they're putting into these, but I'm honestly not really interested in, in that. I'm, I'm just interested if it's good or not. It has a little bit of flavor to it. It's just, it's a better bite. It, it tastes better. It's wild. But the Impossible Whopper is actually better than the regular Whopper. And like something, like especially if you're vegan, that I think is worth, you know, going to Burger King for. I haven't really tried any other Impossible Burgers from 
any other places like fast food places obviously you can go to a nice restaurant and get a nice meal um, but from fast for, for fast food I think this is actually a pretty good product um, so you know good for you Burger King you, you got one thing that worked but I just implore you to please just season your fries you know do something else a little bit different get some other sauces going or something I am intrigued by the new chicken sandwiches um, that that could be another review if you guys are interested in that um, but for right now I'm just gonna eat both of these whoppers um, you know it'll fill me up I, I probably won't be too excited about it but you know that that's just the deal that's what I signed up for today as always thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one quick bonus clip because I just finished both of these whoppers uh, you might say cap because I didn't record it but I did uh, and I just wanted to go on the record as saying that I think that not only is the Impossible Whopper better than the regular Whopper or that it's just a good vegan option, I think it's a good sandwich in general. I actually enjoyed it. Um, it it's a nice bite. Um, yeah, I, I like the Impossible Whopper. I didn't want you guys to just think that I, I think it's, oh yeah, it's okay. You know, if you're, if you're vegan, you know, whatever. It's actually a good sandwich. So there's that.